I had to run off around the side of the shed. Hey, are you all right, Keith? <laughs> As news spread across the country, the world's media rushed to Sodor Island. They kept trying to interview me. I became a bit of a celebrity. Controversy on Sodor Island. Questions asked about science ethics. It's fair to say I was pretty nervous at times. I'm joined now by Keith Hartley. But I think I put on a brave face. What did you think when you first came to meet Thomas the Tank Engine? <laughs> Most of my mates said I looked pretty good on telly. The mayor said I'd represented the people of Sodor very well. It's important to show you're confident when people are asking you awkward questions. Good evening. An act of mercy or a crime against humanity. I'm joined now by... Keith Even when some of the questions got Jim difficult... Fellow. I made sure I knew what I was talking about. What was your reaction when you first met a talking tank engine? If you can't make an informed opinion, or if you can't string together two words on telly, well, maybe you shouldn't be on there. there are two sides to this. Admittedly, the subject matter was a bit bizarre sometimes. There are some dark forces at work here. You were all right, as long as you could win over the audience. The is, they're laughing at you. They're not laughing with you. <laughs> the Goetze family refused to answer any questions. Behind closed doors, the only question they agreed to answer had been asked repeatedly. Would Thomas work on the railway? The response was an emphatic no.